Ryan Cummings of the Christchurch Foundation uh, and Harrison College getting some points there. Kara Douglas and Afraka Bino Ford, double points for Harrison College. Maybe they should have moved a little earlier. We don't know, but I can tell you if I were the coach, I would have told them to move a lot earlier. So Chloe Lucas winning the under 17 girls 800 meters uh, for the second year, Rosette Hoyt will have to settle for second position, but that's eight vital points there for Christchurch Foundation. So that's the under 17 girls 800 meters, which will bring us right to one of the key persons involved with the Barbados Secondary Schools Athletic Championships for 2016, Mr. Andrew Brathwaite, and we have him here with us. Yes, Andrew, welcome to the live stream of BSAC 2016. So, Andrew, tell us about the, I know we had an interview with Dave Small at the beginning who told us about the format. So far, tell us how the format has been, this new format, how is it working? We think it's been working reasonably well. Um, you know, at this point in time, there's great excitement mm -hmm. with regards to Spring and Christ Church Foundation. Yes. Uh, we have not had a school run this close to foundation in the last however many years. Mm -hmm. So we think it brings a little bit more excitement to the, to the meet. And we also look forward to what will happen in the championship round mm -hmm. uh, next week, Thursday and Friday. Right. And, and as you would want to, I would allow you to explain to the viewers the fact that there, there's a championship within a championship. Yes. By going to the two-zone format, uh, we will declare zone winners mm -hmm. here today. Mm -hmm. However, there is, this is just part of the overall championship um, and our discussions and, and looking to breathe some new life into the meet as well because placed into this unique situation with the unavailability of stands, mm -hmm. we made the decision to go to the zonal competition. Mm -hmm. um, that in itself, we think, has allowed us to breathe new life into this championship. Uh, we thought that it was time for a rebirth. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, we will be keeping this format even if we have the... the stadium facility back because we think it brings a lot more excitement and those of us who are older will remember the days of championships like this at the secondary level. Right. So you, you kind of preempted my, my next question to you which was um, will, will this format stay or after we have a new stadium, if we will revert to the old thing. But I think you have answered that question. Yeah, we, we seem to be more in favor of that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this, this is the trial run, mm -hmm. but things are going well. And once things are like this, mm -hmm. we know that we will continue with the zone. Only. Okay, so we, we, we are gonna tackle both sides of the coin, the good, the bad, the indifferent. Um, tell us a little bit about the, the ticket sales as far as the spectators are concerned, because I was commenting about the fact that we haven't seen, obviously, with the fact that we are limited in, in the numbers in terms of spectatorship. Tell us a bit about that. Traditionally, with regards to the preliminaries, mm -hmm. uh, we wouldn't have great spectatorship for the preliminaries. Mm -hmm. uh, what we try to do is try to promote this as a championship. Mm -hmm. um, the numbers are better here mm -hmm. than traditionally for first, second day okay. of the track meet. Um, however, we, we think that we have not done as much as could be done okay. with regards to the promotion of the meet. Mm -hmm. um, we sold some extra tickets to one school. If you look over to the school's area, you will see that Springer Memorial is the school that oh, yes, is, that yes, is yes, represented. Yes, yes. They came mm -hmm. and requested more tickets mm -hmm. yesterday. But we do anticipate that for the uh, Frank Blackman zone, that the numbers will be a little bit better. Also today, you know that the Napsack semifinals yes, are on. Yes, yes. So we know that in a situation mm -hmm. like that, there will mm -hmm. be fewer people coming here because that's mm -hmm. that semifinal stage Correct. as well. Mm -hmm. um, but we think that we can coexist. Yes. We don't consider this to be a major problem. Mm -hmm. And we know that the numbers will be packed in next oh. week because those tickets for the final days are almost gone. Great. Um, so overall then, your committee is pleased with how things yes, are going. Yes, we're, we're pretty satisfied. Um, mm -hmm. We want more numbers in, mm -hmm. and we think the, more, the numbers will come. Uh, we got good coverage last night on the television, and CineStream is doing an excellent job mm -hmm. with regards to the stream. Uh, we are getting very favorable comments coming from the public good. with regards to the quality of the stream as well. Good. So we expect, you know, that as we are touching persons all around, that more persons will be drawn to the stadium as well. Great. Well, Andrew, thank you for taking time out of your extremely busy schedule. I know that. And um, what we will do, though, we need to join the race in progress, the under-17 boys, 800 meters, and hopefully we'll get to speak with you again a little further. Thanks for having me. Great. So that was Andrew Brathwaite, the co-meet director 
of BSAC 2016, and we are going right, right back on track to this 800 meters for the under 17 boys. We would have missed the start of it, but we surely will go on and join here. I believe this is Kai Aline of Harrison College leading the field here. And Kai Aline trying to assault this 152.74 set by Gerard Mason in 2011. I'm not sure if he's going to get there. He, he would have run close to two minutes um, for the season. So Kai Aline of Harrison College. And we see the competitor from Grant Lee Adams Memorial chasing. That's Ronaldo Rock. But saw Kai Aline with 150 meters to go. Kai Aline, Ronaldo Rock chasing from Grant Lee Adams. Oh, Kai Aline. Aline all the way. As he comes into the straightaway now, Kai Aline of Harrison College turning it on. Kai Aline all the way. Ronaldo Rock still chasing. Kai Aline. He's going to be victorious. Aline, Ronaldo Rock finishing quite well. And third, going to Yannick Burroughs of Harrison College. So double points. St. Leonard's boys finishing as well in there. Antonio Austin and Jumula Eswick finishing up there for St. Leonard's boys. So good run there for Kai Aline of Harrison College winning the under 17 boys 800 meters. The under 20 girls and the under 20 boys, 800 meter events. Very exciting. Looking forward to seeing the athletes in action. Those, those events are gonna be really exciting. And before the under 20 girls get going though, we will make an effort to hear what some of the some of the views, some of the views of maybe a spectator or two, maybe a sports journalist or two, as to their thoughts on the format of the meet this year. Of course, before we were thinking that maybe there will not be a BSAC, as was done in 2013, nevertheless, things got together and we were able to have a BSAC with a new format. So I have with me, and I want to thank him very much, Paul Mears from the A team. And Paul, of course, you, you have been to probably every BSAC on earth. You're, you're, you're trying to say something about my age, huh? Uh, not <laughs> at all, because I've been to all as well. Yeah, you've been to quite a, a few <laughs> more than I did. <laughs> so, Paul, um, first of all, tell me a bit about your thoughts on this new format of BSAC. Um, initially, I thought the idea of the zones mm -hmm. was a good idea, because as you would have seen, we've, we've seen some schools coming through shining that would not have gotten that opportunity yeah at the or, or normal you know format of, of BSAC. My only beef I would have is that in terms of the promotion of the meet, something mm -hmm. has to be done. Mm -hmm. You can't have a zone meet where you've said you split it because mm -hmm. of issues with the, the numbers and then you come here on the first and the second day, particularly the first day of the zone, the spectators are very sparse. Very sparse. You, the, the seating is limited, but yet there's lots of seats available. Mm -hmm. And when you look over on the eastern side of the ground where we're told the students were supposed to be seated, yesterday we had about 30 students, mostly from the Springer Memorial School. They obviously have motivation to be here. Mm -hmm. So the question to be asked, where are the students? If I'm told that there are only about 30 tickets going to each school, I'm sure that there must be 30 children that, that in the each school can, can, can get into the yeah. National Stadium. So mm -hmm. something has broken down somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's good to have good action on the track. The comp competition has been good among the schools. We've seen Aline School doing well and so on. But we want to see the students mm -hmm. in the stadium. This is a school meet to begin yeah. with. 
So first off, we have to, to take care of the students. We need to see the students in the Nationals 